goes up, must come down. What goes up, must come down. How about this one? Now, in physics, when we're trying to understand how things move, especially if they're extended objects like this, we need to pick one point that we use to understand what it's doing and that point is called the center of mass. The center of mass of a symmetrical object like this is just going to be the geometric center so the center of mass is going to be between along this axis here and halfway down there. So instead of looking at the rails or looking at or looking at where the object touches the rails, I want you to concentrate on the centre of mass. So focus on this point here, which lies on a line that goes through the centre of mass. Look at what that point's doing, and then now it'll make a bit more sense what's going on. Did you see it? Let me give you a bit of a hint, more of a hint. If I show you the Track, you'll see that the rail gets further apart up here, okay? Have another look. Again, concentrate on the right in the middle of the, the wheel and see what it's actually doing. Did you get it? Let me give you a hint. Is the middle of this object moving up? or down. Have a really close look. Stick a ruler on the screen of your computer if you can do that without scratching. behind the gravity or magnetic hill. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a gravity or magnetic hill. Um, gravity and magnetic hills are natural places that cars are put into neutral and seem to be moving uphill in a slightly sloped road shown in the picture here, apparently defining the law of gravity, which we have one by my house. So we're gonna show you the science behind it. This stretch of road is rather short 50 to 90 uh, meters and only a few meters wide and surrounding by a natural hill or landscape without any buildings by. We need five different experiments to see to uh, bust this magnetic hill thing. One, turn off the car, put it in neutral, release the brakes. Two, measure the altitude from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. Three, roll a plastic ball to see which direction it goes. Four, use a bubble level to see where the bubble is on the angle of the road. And five, walk down the hill. Experiment one is turn off the car, put it in neutral, and release the brake and see what happens. And here is the results. All right, so we're gonna test gravity hill here. We're gonna go uphill, but I've got the car in neutral. I've turned it off and I put the emergency brake down. So we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes. I'm gonna release the brake now. Picking up speed. I have no emergency brake and you're going uphill. This is pretty crazy. Now we're at four miles an hour. Picking up speed, five miles an hour.
this is really crazy. I mean, our top speed, we got to about five miles an hour. You can definitely look like we're going uphill here, but you're gonna see in the next couple of experiments that it debunks that. To more, it's an illusion, but um, it was pretty cool being in the car moving this fast. And you can see it hits right in that typical stretch of road where it's 50 to 90 meters, uh, only a few meters wide, and the surrounding area is hills and landscape without nearby buildings. Uh, but it was pretty impressive uh, to be able to go that fast and it, looking like you're going uphill, which is pretty incredible. So here's the experiment number two that's going to start showing you it's a little bit of an illusion um, as we're going to do the altitude from the bottom of the hill to the top. So here we are on the bottom of the hill and it's showing 1,115 feet at the bottom of the hill. So then I went about the middle of the hill and it's showing 1,111 feet. Uh, and so that's about a four foot drop right there. And if you're looking at the top now, all the way to the bottom, so you can see the hillside and it looks like it's downhill. So now we're at the top of the hill and we're at 1,099 feet. So we've dropped 16 feet going uphill supposedly. So that's what debunks it right there. And experiment number three here, rolling a plastic ball. So if it was magnetic, it would um, want to pull it. So the plastic ball should debunk it here too. And we put it down and we'll reset it here just to make sure. So it stops and it starts to roll, which we think it was uphill. So why would it be rolling uphill? But we already saw the altitude earlier that's a 16 foot drop. So. Um, it's going to continue to defy gravity here as it's rolling uphill, um, which is pretty crazy, but it looks pretty cool. But we all know it's an illusion now that we're starting to see this with our experiment. So the fourth experiment, I'm using a bubble level to see what side the bubble is, the top or the bottom. We're at the bottom of the hill. Uh, to the right is the bottom and to the left is the top. And you can see towards the bottom is showing it's up, it's raised up when definitely when you look at it, it's not, right? So the fifth and last experiment was walking down the hill. When we walked to get there, we, ha we just added this experiment because our legs got really tight as we could feel that we were walking, it felt like uphill. When we were actually walking down, it should have been very easy, but it was a little hard, which we found as an extra experiment that just kind of proved the whole thing that it is an illusion. There is no gr defying gravity or magnetic field, um, so, what we found on the internet is a whole bunch of different sites around the world um, on the gravity or magnetic hills. Here's a list of them. And so the end results for us is there are several things that enable us to sense this way it looks like it's up. The balance mechanism in our inner ears is one system we have. The visual clues that are very important can be overriding. The horizon cannot be seen at the, uh, or not level. And it may fool us in the objects that we expect to be vertical that aren't really not false perspective that we might also play in a role by not seeing trees in line or larger or smaller distances a sense of perspective thrown off. These objects are far away but seem smaller than larger and so on and so on. At the end um, we came to the conclusion that uh, this is just an optical illusion and uh, we'd love to know your thoughts and comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.